Hi guys welcome to my YouTube channel. Before watching the video please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This video is about What is NFT? What are NFT used for? Non-fungible tokens versus cryptocurrency. How does NFT work? Why are non-fungible tokens becoming popular? Should you buy NFT? What is the future of NFT? So let's get started. What is an NFT? An NFT is a digital asset that represents real-world objects like art, music, in-game items, and videos. They are bought and sold online, frequently with cryptocurrency, and they are generally encoded with the same underlying software as many cryptos. Although they've been around since 2014, NFTs are gaining notoriety now because they are becoming an increasingly popular way to buy and sell digital artwork. A staggering $174 million has been spent on NFTs since November 2017. NFTs are also generally one of a kind, or at least one of a very limited run, and have unique identifying codes. Essentially, NFT create digital scarcity, says Ari Yu, chair of the Washington Technology Industry Association Cascadia Blockchain Council and managing director of Yellow Umbrella Ventures. This stands in stark contrast to most digital creations, which are almost always infinite in supply. Hypothetically, Cutting off the supply should raise the value of a given asset, assuming it's in demand. But many NFT, at least in these early days, have been digital creations that already exist in some form elsewhere, like iconic video clips from NBA games, or securitized versions of digital art that's already floating around on Instagram. For instance, famous digital artist Mike Winkleman, Better known as Beeple crafted a composite of 5,000 daily drawings to create perhaps the most famous NFT of the moment, EVERYDOYS, the first 5,000 days, which sold at Christie's for a record breaking $69.3 million. Anyone can view the individual images or even the entire collage of images online for free. So why are people willing to spend millions on something they could easily screenshot or download? because an NFT allows the buyer to own the original item. Not only that, it contains built-in authentication, which serves as proof of ownership. Collectors value those digital bragging rights almost more than the item itself. What are NFT used for? Blockchain technology, NFTs afford artists and content creators a unique opportunity to monetize their wares. For example, Artists no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their art. Instead, the artist can sell it directly to the consumer as an NFT, which also lets them keep more of the profits. In addition, artists can program in royalties so they'll receive a percentage of sales whenever their art is sold to a new owner. This is an attractive feature as artists generally do not receive future proceeds after their art is first sold. Art isn't the only way to make money with NFT. Brands like Charmin and Taco Bell have auctioned off themed NFT art to raise funds for charity. Charmin dubbed its offering NFTP non-fungible toilet paper, and Taco Bell's NFT art sold out in minutes, with the highest bids coming in at 1.5 wrap teeth or WETH equal to $3,723.83 at time of writing. Nyan Cat a 2011 year GIF of a cat with a pop tart body, sold for nearly $600,000 in February. And NBIOT Opshot generated more than $500 million in sales as of late March. A single LeBron James Highlight 10 FT fetched more than $200,000. Non fungible tokens versus cryptocurrency. It's important to outline the distinction between cryptocurrency and non-fungible tokens. Although both are based on blockchain technology, the fundamental differences can help us to understand how NFT work. The key difference goes back to cryptocurrency being fungible. You can exchange a Bitcoin for another Bitcoin, for example. However, you cannot do so for an NFT. A non-fungible token is tied to one particular digital asset and cannot be replaced. How does NFT work? Now that you've begun understanding what is NFT, you should explore 
and learn about how NFT works too. The majority of NFT reside on the Ethereum cryptocurrency's blockchain, a distributed public ledger that records transactions. NFT are individual tokens with valuable information stored in them. Because they hold a value primarily set by the market and demand, they can be bought and sold just like other physical types of art. NFT unique data makes it easy to verify and validate their ownership and the transfer of tokens between owners. Examples of NFT The NFT world is relatively new to people. Here are some examples of NFT that exist today. A digital collectible. Domain names. Games. Essays. Sneakers and fashion line. Why are non-fungible tokens becoming popular? NFT have actually been around since 2015, but they are now experiencing a resurgence thanks to several factors. First, and perhaps most obviously, is the normalization and excitement of cryptocurrencies and the underlying blockchain frameworks. Beyond the technology itself is the combination of fandom, the economics of royalties, and the laws of scarcity. Consumers all want to get in on the opportunity to own unique digital content and potentially hold them as a type of investment. When someone buys the non-fungible token, they gain ownership of the content, but it can still make its way over the internet. In this way, an NFT can gain popularity the more it's seen online, the more value it develops. When the asset is sold, the original creator gets a N% percent cut, with the platform getting a small percentage and the current owner getting the rest of that revenue. Thus, there is potential for ongoing revenue from popular digital assets as they are bought and sold over time. Authenticity is the name of the game with NFT. Digital collectibles contain distinguishing information that make them distinct from any other NFT and easily verifiable thanks to the blockchain. Creating and circulating fake collectibles doesn't work because each item can be traced back to the original creator or issuer. And unlike cryptocurrencies, they can't be directly exchanged with one another like baseball cards in real life because no two are exactly the same. Should you buy NFT? NFT are risky because their future is uncertain, and we don't yet have a lot of history to judge their performance, she notes. Since NFT are so new, it may be worth investing small amounts to try it out for now. In other words, investing in NFT is a largely personal decision. If you have money to spare, it may be worth considering, especially if a piece holds meaning for you. But keep in mind, an NFT value is based entirely on what someone else is willing to pay for it. Therefore, demand will drive the price rather than fundamental technical or economic indicators, which typically influence stock prices and at least generally form the basis for investor demand. All this means an NFT may resale for less than you paid for it, or you may not be able to resell it at all if no one wants it. NFT are also subject to capital gains taxes just like when you sell stocks at a profit. Since they're considered collectibles, however, they may not receive the preferential long-term capital gains rate stocks do and may even be taxed at a higher collectibles tax rate. Though the IRS has not yet ruled what NFT are considered for tax purposes. Bear in mind, the cryptocurrencies used to purchase the NFT may also be taxed if they've increased in value since you bought them, meaning you may want to check in with a tax professional when considering adding this to your portfolio. That said, Approach NFT just like you would any investment. Do your research. Understand the risks including that you might lose all of your investing dollars, and if you decide to take the plunge, proceed with a healthy dose of caution. Ethereum and NFT Ethereum blockchain makes it possible for NFT so work for several reasons. Trading NFT, without needing peer-to-peer -peer platforms, can take significant cuts as compensation. All Ethereum products share the same backend, making it sportable to buy on one product and sell it on another effortlessly. Once a transaction is confirmed, it's impossible to manipulate the data to forge the ownership. Ethereum never goes down, which means your tokens will always be available to sell. Popular NFT Marketplaces 
once you've got your wallet ready, all you need to do is to buy NFT. Currently, the largest NFT marketplaces are Rarible. Rarible is a democratic marketplace that allows artists and creators to issue and sell NFT. It enables holders to weigh in on features like fees and community rules. OpenSea. To get started, all you need to do is create an account on the official website of OpenSea and browse NFT collections and discover new artists. This platform is famously known as a vast collection of rare digital items and collectibles. Foundation. On this platform, artists need to receive from or send an invitation from fellow creators to post their art. This community's exclusivity boasts higher caliber artwork, assuming the demand for it remains at current levels or even increases over time. What is the future of NFT? NFT has enhanced media exposure and special perks for aspiring artists on social media. Recently, Jack Dorsey, the CEO and co-founder of Twitter, with his very first and famous tweet, just setting up my Twitter, and Vignesh Sunderson, famously known as Meta Coven, bought $69.3 million worth of NFT art on Beeple. Owing to its increasing popularity, people are now willing to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for it. Like David Girard, author of Attack of the 50-Foot Blockchain, Many experts in the crypto industry say that around 40% of new crypto users will use NFTs as their entry point. As a result of its growing popularity, NFT could represent a more significant part of the digital economy in the future. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.